In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can enable a remote start button on your vehicle. So here we have a Ram 1500. It did not come with factory remote start. So you can see here, here's the original key fob. But I went and purchased this key fob. It's an aftermarket unit that has a remote start button on it. We programmed it in another video. If you guys haven't seen that, using Alpha OBD and the dongle, you guys can program this as well. So you can see here, this aftermarket remote now works with the vehicle but when we push this twice nothing happens no lights no horn no nothing so we have to program this in order for that function to work so that's what we're going to do so right now and again i'll link all the stuff that you need to get this done down below so you can see down here i've got this plugged in here our obd mx plus so i have that plugged in so it's connected and i'm going to show you guys the steps so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go select your vehicle. So in this case, Ram 1500, if it's a Charger, Challenger, Jeep, whatever, it's gonna be the same procedure. You're gonna click on body computer, and then we're gonna go down and you're gonna select your year. So for us, we're gonna go 13 to 17, connect, and we'll let that connect. One thing, so there's gonna be some settings, and the system's also gonna be looking for a hood latch. So you have a few options. I'm not gonna tell you guys or advise you guys what the correct way is to do this, but from the factory, there is the safety feature that there's a hood latch that has a sensor in it so that if the hood is popped up, somebody can't come along and hit your remote start function, you know, while you might have your hands in the engine bay or whatever the case may be. So there is that safety feature present. I highly, highly suggest you guys go that route and get the factory latch. If you don't want to do that, some guys, I'm not saying I'm not one of those guys, but some guys will install a resistor into the plug. And some vehicles are actually wired all the way back to the body control module. Some of them, the wiring, even though you might have the plug here, the wiring might not go all the way back to there. So this being a 16 model should have the wiring back to the BCM and it's uh, a Laramie truck. So it probably has the complete wiring, but if you have a lower end model truck, there might be a possibility that that wire doesn't make it all the way back to the body control. So what I will show you now is now that it's connected, so you selected everything, hit connect, now it's connected. We're gonna go over here, it's a little car with its uh, hood popped. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna go down to the bottom. If I'm going too fast, just uh, rewind the video. I don't wanna slow this video down for everybody else. Car configuration change, select option, and you're going to type in remote start present so you see there obviously we're going to say yes so we're going to hit start it's going to tell us that it's set to no we're going to hit next and we're going to set it to present so give it a second you're going to see procedure completed pop up then we're going to go over to where is it oh also since we typed in remote you can see here sound horn on remote start i think by default it should be enabled let's see so it is enabled, so the horn's gonna go when it starts. Um, the other thing is, let's type in hood, so you can see the setting for the hood latch. Hood ajar switch input signal usage. Hood ajar switch input present. So we're gonna set that to yes. It's set to no. So we'll let that setting take. Then also you're gonna see here. So hood ajar, signal switch usage. So you're gonna see the two uh, resistors. So um, if you're one of those guys, you can pick your resistor and uh, you can select from here and then apply that one as well. Okay, so after all this, we're gonna go to the RF hub and we're gonna do a reset on it. So that way these settings can take place. Thanks again to my buddy Roman for pointing that out because I was just teasing him how it wasn't working. So we're gonna connect there. We're gonna go over here, go to the bottom, reset ECU. It's not gonna change the settings, but it's just essentially like rebooting a computer. So there we go. Now the RF hub is rebooting. So you can see here, this command performs a hard reset of the ECU. It's not wiping out the information, it's just like rebooting it. Okay, so now let's see, lock. So one more reset thing that some people are claiming they have to do. So again, it's not gonna wreck anything. It's just gonna reset the RF hub. 
Like I said, it's not gonna wipe out the information, but so select your vehicle, select radio frequency hub from the drop down. You're gonna select your year model. And then I'll show you guys the next step. So in our case, we'll go 13 and up. Then you're gonna click on this little car with its hood popped. Then you're gonna go down to around the middle, RF hub reset replace. So you're gonna have to add your four digit pin. <clears throat> if you're not sure where to get your four digit pin, you can literally go to the bottom here, it says read pin. So read your pin. Once you go through the read pin sequence, then go ahead, go RF hub, reset, replace, enter that and it's gonna reboot the system. Why I'm telling you guys to do this is because at first you guys saw that it wasn't working. Um, and not only that, but then the actual buttons started working where I would hear a horn sequence go, but it wouldn't actually start the vehicle. And I saw some people say that they had to take it for a drive, which made zero sense to me, but lo and behold, I took it for a drive, went to town 10 minutes, and then uh, when I parked it, came back out of the store, all of a sudden remote start worked. Cause I tried, I let the vehicle sit here for hours and it didn't seem to work. Took it for a quick drive, all of a sudden everything started working, no change. So now you can see here, if I double click it, you hear everything booting up. And remote start works. And if I double click it again, it turns off. So now it works. Don't ask me why you have to take it for a drive. Um, you might not necessarily have to reset the RF hub, but at least take it for a drive. Again, I don't have any explanation for it, but it seems to work in my case. Uh, it wasn't working and that did work, but that's pretty much it. So I'll link everything down below. Um, I'll also link where I got that key fob with the remote start button. So where I got this fob, it was about $39, I believe. Um, I said it before in the last video where I show you guys how to program one of these fobs that you don't necessarily want to cheap out too much. Uh, 39 bucks I think was pretty reasonable, but I wouldn't go too cheap because last thing you want to do is go on a road trip or end up being somewhere and your key fob fails. So, but um, this is a reliable company. I'll link it down below. If you guys have the other style key, the one that you physically have to put in the dash, I've heard rumors where if you take apart your key, see if you have the button underneath and apparently the contacts are there. You just have to get a key fob that has this and you can actually put it into it. So you don't have to program a key. So if you have the one that you have to physically put into the ignition and turn it, open up your key, see if you have the contacts for the remote start button. If you do, just go buy an aftermarket uh, key fob that has the remote start button. You can put in the overlay there and then all of a sudden you can uh, just activate the features here and not have to program a whole new key fob. So. Also, if you guys need to program a key fob, I will link down in the description below where you can find that video, how to program a key fob, and I will also try to link it here for you guys. Pretty cool uh, stuff, you guys. Pretty happy that I have factory or remote start, so you know I can have the vehicle cooling, heating, whatever the climate may be, and uh, you can walk up and get into a climate-controlled vehicle or you know have your engine warm, whatever your situation is. So thanks for watching. If you guys found this helpful or informative, give it a thumbs up. Everything to get this done will be down in the description below. We'll see you guys on the next video.